What a year it's been for Paul Azinger, the 1987 GHO champ, still at it with one more round left in the British Open. Even though Paul has won over half a million dollars on the tour this year, his highest finish in a major tournament was 17th at this year's Masters. Today in Scotland, Azinger led by one going into the third round. He played an even par round today to maintain that one-stroke lead. AC Craig Stadler, he made a pretty good showing, a birdie on 17 to put him in the hunt at four under. Jerry Taylor, who eagled 17 and birdied 18 yesterday, is still in it. There he birdies on the 15th hole. David Frost of South Africa finished at five under with a 70 today. And the weather was definitely playing a part in the, in the game today. It was terrible, terrible conditions. This is the only tournament in which they play in these conditions. Here you see Nick Faldo, birdie to go six under. Azinger then dropped a short putt. He dropped to seven under, but both guys would bogey the 18th hole. Azinger had to scramble, as a matter of fact. He hit it wide, had to chip back out on the fairway, came up short, and ended up scrambling for a long 12-foot birdie putt on 18. He has a one-stroke lead, and our best wishes, of course, to him in that British Open. From the $375,000 U.S. Clay Court Championships in Indianapolis, Mats Wielander defeated Joachim Nystrom from Sweden, also 6-4, he's also from Sweden, I should say, 6-4-7-5 in the semifinal match. Wielander showed his all-court game, and uh, he's the number one seed. He'll play the winner of the Ken carlson perez Roldan matchup for the victory. And from Newport, Virginia, uh, or rather from Newport, the Virginia Slims tennis action today, Wendy White against Rosalind Fairbank. It was Wendy White walking to the win, 6-3. 6-4. Boston Celtics assistant coach Chris Ford and his family got the heating oil that they ordered yesterday, but where it went made the news today. It seems a delivery man for the Nekoroski Oil Company pumped 2,000 gallons of the stuff into a disconnected pipe at the Ford's home while they were away, soaking it into the furniture, oh, carpeting, geez. and under the basement. 2,000 gallons of black gold Texas tea, Jerry and Candy, bubbling oh, crude. My. What a terrible thought. That one That's awful. Horrible. If you're going to strike oil, you don't want to have it be in your basement when you're no, sitting there. that's for sure. Let's talk a little bit about Paul Azinger, GHO winner, three tournaments this year. But winning a, winning a tournament like, well, he won at Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Hartford isn't really like being under the gun in a major like the British Open. No, the majors with the eyes of the whole world upon you, uh, a whole lot more pressure. But I think this guy has shown us over the, over the course of this year that he has the stuff it takes to compete under any kind of pressure. Uh, GHO and all the galleries being one thing. But the cameras of the world, so to speak, uh, being a totally different thing, the British Open, and in these conditions, the rain, the wet, the muck, uh, you know, terrible. I wouldn't that, want to be in his shoes. That final birdie <laughs> putt looked pretty good that he gave there at the end. I will yeah, take the half wonderful. million dollars that he's won, so. Oh, well, let's hope he doesn't real. turn it. But we haven't heard of Bob Tway all year, so I hope Paul Azinger can keep it up uh, yeah. year after yeah. year. Tway tweeted out. From what I hear about Jerry Brooks at a tournament this week, he could give Azinger a run for his money on and the putting he's, green. He's coming around. Mr. Adams showed the way. <laughs> out at the Tallwood Country Club in Hebron. What fun.